So a Hickman Mills Elementary School is dealing with an unprecedented number of students battling homelessness. Staff working around the clock to help families in need, but the need continues to be great. And uh, we were looking at this map earlier going over the districts. This is during the 2018 2019 school year. It shows that Hickman Mills had 300 students over 5% of their population experiencing homelessness. Here's Hickman Mills right here. Look at this though in KCPS 1300 students, Fort Osage 355, Olathe over 500 students experiencing homelessness and they believe they don't know all the students dealing yeah. with this. KSHB 41 news reporter Daniela Leone is live this morning at Irvin Elementary in Kansas City. Daniela, how many families in their school need help right now with this? Yeah. Very upsetting numbers. Hey, good morning, Lindsay and Ray. Well, Irvin Elementary estimates nearly 20 families are currently without a permanent home here at Irvin Elementary, and they believe even more families are being impacted by this. I did get a chance to speak to some of those families, and they told me affordability, lack of housing and inflation all played factors in their current situation. But despite all of this, every morning staff members here at Irvin Elementary walk through these doors determined to help students and their families in need. The hallways of Irvin Elementary are buzzing. Nearly 700 pre-K to 5th grade students go to this school, but after school, many of them are living without a home. Uh, it's been rough, you know, with the inflation and everything going on right now, gas prices and whatnot, so... We kind of have to like be scarce with our money and balancing out. This family of seven is staying with friends until they're able to find a permanent home. But at least 20 other families at Irvin Elementary are facing a similar problem. Many of them staying in shelters, hotels and other assisted living spaces all across the metro. We have some kids that just have a hard time getting to school. So if you can't get to school, you can't learn. And for students battling displacement, school can be tough. We have a lot of students that um, exhibit behavior problems as well, um, just not having enough sleep at home or just the basic needs met. Staff at Irvin Elementary have made it their mission to help students out. The school is working with cab companies to get students to and from school, getting them individual counseling and offering community closets full of deodorant, shampoo, coats and other basic needs, all while helping students like Soraya Wilson. It's good because my mom don't have to spend money because like and the place we live in is helping her save up money so when we get out of that place, she can get her own home. A lot of our parents um, work, so and they're still struggling with getting uh, basic daily needs met. The Center for Public Integrity says the number of students living without a home in the United States is underreported, and it's impacting graduation rates. During 2017 and 2018, the group said in both Kansas and Missouri, the graduation rate for students who experience homelessness was about 15 to 20% lower than students who did it. It's tough, but yes, we do it because I love the kids and I enjoy what I do. The Bland family says the support Irvin Elementary is giving them is helping them make ends meet, but they fear more families could be dealing with this as cost of living continues to increase. I hope not and I wish not, but I think it's going to get a lot real rough for a lot of people. Now, the Center for Public Integrity released this data that you see right here, and they estimate, just like Lindsay said, 300,000 students right now in the United States are impacted by homelessness, and you can see right here in the orange how students who are black or Latino are disproportionately impacted by this. They estimate 2,400 school districts reported having no students dealing with displacement, but they say based on current financial need and uh, the uptick of inflation, that number is simply undercounted. Reporting in Kansas City, Danielle Leone, KSHB 41 News. Oh my goodness, so grateful to that family for sharing that story of yeah. the difficulties they're going through with us. That could not have been easy. Daniela, not just numbers here that we're talking about. These are people. What can we do watching to help these families in Hickman Mills? Yeah, Hickman Mill says they have several partnerships with several community organizations as well, including Harvesters, and that partnership helps feed families over the weekend. They also launched here at Urban Elementary a mentorship program just this year to help bring adults into their school district, and you can learn more of that by contacting the school directly.